All right, uh, Megan, you were next. Which, uh, which would you like? Uh, the no dash. She she probably does. I was about to say she probably didn't even know what half of these are. <laughs> no. Uh, no dashy, the worst demon in my opinion. Where the yeah. heck? Basically, poisons your town folk neighbors. That's all. Megan, it's with two ends, right? Yeah. Okay, that's what yeah. I thought. Yeah. All right, uh, Hella, which which would you like? I will take the Fanku. Okay. The best demon of them all. Yep, I can yep. jump. <laughs> if I'm yeah, the you can stop being the demon. <laughs> exactly. And I will tell you the though, the, the Al Hadikia is kind of rivaling that. Uh, just, just well, if you if you judge the Fanku on its jumping, then the imp should come close for you then, because yeah, I can kill myself. True. Mm -hmm. uh, Mia, what what would you like? <laughs> that's a big question. Um, I think I will go for. Let me be the leech and hope I cannot die. Um, Daryl, have we played together before? We have um, not. No. I've not, played have you, guys, but... have you mm. done? Are you familiar with the Grim at least? Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Okay, perfect, perfect. Well, um, I used to use numbers, 1 to 12, and then we got meta on the numbers, and so now I just do <laughs> random stuff now with this as well. But it, at least it's a way for me to not assign each player a role, and so whatever role is still what you pick, but I'll let you pick whichever demon you would like to be today. I want to pick the uh, Al-Hadikia. 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 al to his friends. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Al Hadikia. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, let's see. Uh, Matthew, what would you like? It's certainly freeing not having to pick number two all the time now. You don't uh, have to British pick number two at all. I mean, come yeah, on. I always do. It's uh, The British people here will probably get this. It's a brand of pie, the Puka. <laughs> Look at pies. <laughs> the um, by the way, Trey, I think you forgot to change the Fangu into Hello. It's okay. I have claimed Hello. the seed. I'm just oh, I just oh, typed Fangu. Hello, oh, hell hell is, hell is, hell is actually Fangu. <laughs> <No. laughs> um, sorry. No, Hella is mad about being something destructive. <laughs> I just, oh, I actually just renamed it Fangu. <laughs> Alright, there we go. Um, let's see. No, no, no. I just I retyped it. I'm so tired. I've had three hours of sleep, guys. Um, let's see. Peter, what would you like? I'd like to be the Brody. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> uh, I'll be the Vigor Mortis. You know what? That's my favorite right. demon. I'm fine with that. <laughs> All right. Uh, Michelle, what would you like? Um, I will be the little monster. Uh, and Ken, what would you like? Uh, I'll be the imp. I'll be the imp. All right, who am I forgetting here? Me. Um, Megan. Gro. No, Megan picked. Megan picked. Michael. I got Gro, Michael, and Lewis. Yeah. All right. So, Grow, which would you like? We still have got um, the Poe, yep. the Vortox, and the Shabloth. Yeah, I did really well as the Poe, so we'll pick the Poe. Okay. That was not funny. And it rhymes with Grow. Yeah. I was going to say, I only had to change one letter. <laughs> um, let's see, Michael, we got a Vortox and a Shabloth. I'll, I'll be the one no one likes, I'll be Shabloth. Okay. Well, I don't think the Shabloth is that bad. No, I quite like it's it. Just, it's just it's it's hard to hide. Yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah, like, and um, that's Lewis like Sherman, I'm like, the Vortox. Vortox, most commonly used one. <laughs> All right, let me <laughs> let me do breakout rooms, and then we'll get started. So that means do not trust Lewis. Uh, Michelle and Grow just need to take their seat. Yeah, uh, a moment. I will. On a couple of announcements, because I always forget to make announcements beginning. Number one, if um, if you become a savant or are a savant or whatever having to do with a savant, don't come to me immediately or else you're going to stare at me for about a minute and it'll waste part of your day. <laughs> Number two, if there is an amnesiac in the game, I'm trying to go away from the cold, warm, hot bingo crap. I'm trying to go 
zero to ten. So you got a better scale that I can work with. So if uh, if there's an amnesiac or a philosopher turned amnesiac or whatever amnesiac in the game, and they come out and said Trey gave me a four, <sighs> believe them because or believe them that I could have give them a number. If they tell you that they got a warm, then then they're lying. Um, anyways, so I just wanted to put that out. Does anybody have any questions before I send them to their breakout rooms? Make sure you're seated. Hi and welcome. I am Hill from Game for Life BG, and today we're going to play Catfishing, which is a custom script that has some roles from the different uh, free scripts we have. We have the, the Trouble Brewing, Six and Violets, and Bad Moon Rising. And if you look at the roles, I have listed the roles down here, so you can see them all. And in in the Grim, we do have a description of each of the roles. Uh oh, I see a red token behind this one. I think I'm the Godfather. So let's look at this. Um, oh, I have to do it the right place. So I'm the Godfather. You start knowing uh, which outsiders are in play. If one died today, choose a player tonight, they die. So I can add or subtract an outsider. Okay. Interesting. So we have to figure out which bluff roles we're going to have. But of course I will know something about the outsiders. Um, so I am evil, but who is my evil team? Oh, I hope Peter is on my team. <laughs> Maybe also me or Grow, one of them. Uh, um, uh, so we could have the demon, could be an imp, Vigor Mortis, or Franku. So hopefully we have a Vigor Mortis, then I could be killed and still be active. Or we have a Franku. Could also have a Pit Hack, Seven Novus and Vido. Ah. Uh, so. Hmm. But we have a drunk recluse, sweetheart, mutant, and lunatic. If you do not have the sweetheart in the game, then I can claim to be the sweetheart. Hello, hello. You hello. are the godfather. I am the godfather, indeed. So you're going to learn that there is a drunk. Yes. That there is a sweetheart. Okay. There is a mutant. Okay. And there is a recluse. Wow, four. <laughs> okay, so we have a Fangu game. <laughs> um, there, there are several roles on the oh, script. Maybe, that uh, let you uh, go. Of course, call some be a balloonist. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. It, pretty much that's it. Because uh, you know, at this point in time, you're the plus one. Um, so it's either a balloonist or a Fangu. So, anyways. So, um. Oh, by the way, uh, Michelle is the minion. Yes. Um, and Daryl is the uh, demon. Okay. <laughs> okay. Thank cool, you. Cool, cool, cool. You're welcome. Okay. So Michelle is the minion, and Daryl is the demon. I'm going to mark him as the Fangu, just because there is a good chance he is. Um, welcome back. Um, I'm dead. And um, you guys can either try and find my killer or not. I don't really care either way. But, uh, you guys have eight minutes to go chat. If you need to talk to me, do me a favor. If you need to talk to me, go into my storyteller room and when you click on breakout rooms, click ask for help. It will ping me that you need to talk. So there you go. All right, guys, have fun. <clears throat> Any widows out there? I haven't Godwin. heard of one. Haven't heard of one. No. Nope. I was just wondering because I'm the mathematician and I got a one last night, so that would have explained it. Peter, want to chat? Sure. All right. I'll go to yours because that's the first one I see. 
Michael, do you want to check? Uh, who was that, Ken? Ken, yeah. Yeah, Ken, I'll come to you. <laughs> I don't know what Brody's trying to do. The mathematician. Well, in... Lewis has just spotted there isn't a mathematician. <laughs> <laughs> There's no mathematician in the script. Look at me. That was what I said. Brody had to be the Vortex. Yeah. Uh, Megan, do you want to chat? <laughs> yeah, we can. Which room? Um, I don't know. Oh, sir. Uh, my room's at the top. Okay, oh, hey, that sounds good. Huh? Would you like to have a conversation? What? Uh, my room's my room's near the top. If you want to join me in there. Who are you talking to? Hello. <laughs> yeah, oh. we can talk there. I'll come to your room. Well, bro, yeah. do you want to talk? Hey, Daryl. Hello. So, are you the Fanku? Uh, I am. Yeah, Thank because fuck. because I, was I, was a lunatic. I I am the I am the uh, what is um, the Godfather, and we have a drunk, a sweetheart, and a mutant, and a recluse. So we have four outsiders. So okay. there's a good Wait. chance for you to jump to another player. Okay, so what were those four again? Sorry, drunk, recluse, drunk, sweetheart, mutant, and, and the only one that isn't in play is the is the loot, um, the lunatic. Okay, so lunatic is not in play, so I'm definitely not the lunatic. Yeah. Cool. And what? Uh, which kind of uh, bluffs do we have? Uh, there's gambler, savant, and balloonist. Okay, which one would you prefer? Um, I am thinking of going for. I think I'm going for balloonist. Yes, the balloonist. Um, it should keep me in the game for a little bit longer. Um, yeah. I'll be claiming you as my name tonight. Okay. Um, so that is why you wanted to talk to me. Yes. Yes. Okay. So I'm going to say when I get free for free, I'm going to say fortune teller, gambler, and philosopher. Fortune teller, gambler, philosopher. I don't okay. know. I, I mean, and I think about going with the Raven Keeper. Maybe. That could work. Maybe. Mm. So I'm going to Maybe. say roles that I'm not. And if that you were the sense. if you that were the sense. big mortis, I would have liked you to kill me. <laughs> so. Yeah, I mean that that's fair. So okay, uh, but I will mark you as the balloonist, and I will please. go with the gambler. Um, if. If, yeah. if 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 uh, Michelle wanted. Cool. Um, okay. If you talk to Michelle. Yeah. And then we'll catch up tomorrow. Yeah. Or maybe, maybe you talk, talk to talk. Michelle. Yeah. Or maybe. Or talk to Michelle. If you yeah. if you talk to Michelle today, if you can anyway. Yeah. Yeah. And then I'll catch up one with of one of you two tomorrow. Yes. Yeah. Um, any ideas who to kill offhand? No idea. I haven't talked to anyone. Cool. Uh, <laughs> yeah. no problem. Uh, I. Yeah. Play this blind. Let's go back. Yeah, maybe Peter. I don't know. <laughs> maybe, He's always maybe. pretty good. <laughs> so. True, true. Yeah. Right, cool. Cool. See ya. Let's go. Would okay. anyone like to chat? You can chat with me if you want. Can't hear you very well. Uh, can you hear me? I can hear you a little better. You want to uh, come to my room? Anybody that wants um, to talk? Yeah, I can do yours. Mia yeah, Grow, anyone of you that wants to talk? Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Uh, no. <laughs> you can talk. My room. Uh, yeah, I... Do you want to talk? Yes. Yeah. Let's go for it. Um, hey, Grow. Hey. Are you good? Yes, I'm good. Ah, then we are too. <laughs> <laughs> Have you talked to Mia? Yeah, she's also good. Oh. <laughs> could be nice. At least he says so. Yeah, <laughs> but it could be nice if we were all on the same team. <laughs> but uh, what do you fancy doing? That depends on you. Yeah, I I mean, I can do a hard claim if you want to. Yeah, sure, let's do that. Because, okay, perfect. I'm the gambler. I'm the chef. Oh, then I can gamble you as the chef. Yes. Perfect. What did you learn? Oh, a zero. 
as zero. Okay. So. But it would be really nice if you could uh, affirm me. Yeah. Because I, I made a three for three that's food themed. So I got Chef Cannibal and Pit Hack. But you said that what? Yeah, yeah, that's my three for three. <laughs> Pit Hack, why? Because that was the only thing that worked that was food themed. That, there, it's a cauldron. It's a what? It's a cauldron on the Pit Hack sign. Okay. Oh, and I haven't been seven O's, so maybe we do not have a seven O's, or Mia is not the seven O's, <laughs> if that yeah. is the case. <laughs> that, that that could be why. <laughs> yeah. Okay, cool. But I will cool. definitely gamble you, Job. Yep. Perfect. Yep. Mia, want to talk? Uh, I'm not sure there is. Would you like Michelle? to um, come to my room? Hello? Okay. Michelle? Daryl? Okay. Daryl? Yeah, yeah. I mean, well, if you want to chat, I can chat with you too. But yeah, I have. To, yes, I have to talked to Daryl. That was why, Michelle. No, okay. you don't want to chat, chat? Daryl. Michelle, I. Uh, I'm just saying enough with Michelle. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, so I can let him chat with you after. We'll be quick. But just yeah. Do you want to talk? Yeah, sure, Peter. I'll come to oh, yours. Okay. You Ken, yes. Ken, do you want to talk? Yeah. yeah. Yes. Your room. Yeah. Hello. Hey, hello, how are you? Hello, I'm good, and you? Hello, I'm good, I'm good. I think I have good news. You have good news? I have good news. Yeah? I'm going to trust you just because I like to trust you. I like to trust someone. Yep, but I, uh, I think we have to continue um, tomorrow, Ken. Where is he? All right. Uh, I don't think he's back yet. yet. Okay, we just Lewis came into the room and then it closed. <laughs> okay, so... Can Sara Novus make someone mad about being a role that's not on a script? No. Uh, if you're asking, will I allow that? Then I will. Uh, what? Okay. Sorry, I I like that yeah, tomorrow, Ken. I'm not quite Could sure you... that's what's happening, though, Lewis. Let's put it this way. There is nowhere in any wiki or role that says that the Saranovas cannot make somebody mad about a role that is not on the script that it is on. So you can make them mad about being Santa Claus for all I give a crap. <laughs> Who, I mean, says, Santa Who says Santa Claus is a good role? You have to be made, made, made mad about being a good role. You can't You can't be Krampus. Oh. Well, Santa Claus knows who's not here nice, so they're kind of the dreamer. A guy so who they breaks could, into children's yeah. homes at night unannounced. Yeah. So they're technically right, an outsider. Nominations are open. At least he doesn't visit their beds like the Toothberry. That's true. <laughs> I, I'd like to nominate Brody. Hey, Michael nominates Brody. <clears throat> Michael, your accusation. I think Brody has claimed, has deliberately claimed a not in, not on the script townsfolk as a clever way of getting around the fact that he's a mutant. Um, my defense is I'm the mathematician. I am not I'm not the mutant. I am the mathematician. And as mathematician. And, uh, and also uh, information. if I could sweet if I could sweeten the pot the pot a little bit, uh when I'm when I've been the mutant, I've broken madness just about every single time. So I'm I am the mathematician. I'm not the mutant. I am the mathematician. <laughs> Would anybody like to add any pertinent information to this? Yeah. He came out at the start and said he got a one straight away. Well, since the role is not on the script, it doesn't make sense. It's certainly not useful, helpful to us. Okay. Well, I will start the I countdown think... on Brody. I'd say at least put him on the block with six. I think Brody's always a good day I one kill. Carry on. yeah. cool. well, now would I have a repeating info role like the mathematician? <laughs> and Megan, hand down, please. Okay, six votes is enough. All right, I'm going to nominate Peter. Brody, 
nominates Peter. Or to your accusation. I've heard of a fortune teller with a demon paint on him. Okay. Um, Peter, your defense. I've hard claimed my role to a couple of people. Um, I think they would agree that this is not a good day one kill. Yeah, I'm not a good day one kill either. I'm a good townsfolk. Yeah, the mathematician. The mathematician. I've got you hard penciled in as mathematician. Yeah. Okay. And what I'm um, yeah. Would anybody like to add any pertinent information to this? My role's more <laughs> valuable than the mathematician. Just to... I don't think we should kill Brody, but I don't think we should kill Peter either. Yeah, cool tying this. <laughs> Alright. Well we'll start the countdown on Brody. It will I'm sorry, on Peter, it will start with Brody. Here we go. If we give five, I'll 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 vote to tie. Should tie this. Then it's a tie, right? Okay. Is that? Why do yeah, you want yeah. to tie it? Because mathematician is it's kind of interesting at least. Mathematician is important. We will learn every night how many people's abilities are. I'm feeling a whole Whatever. lot of evil down. I'm feeling a whole lot of evil down in that bottom left corner. I agree. <laughs> don't go calling me evil again, Michael. To be fair, no, 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 Michael, don't go down that road. Six votes. <laughs> Ties Brody. So there is nobody on the chopping block. Pertinent info. I've heard from a fortune teller today, and they were not the pings I heard. You heard other pings? I heard a fortune, a different fortune teller. Yeah, but Brody was just using his mathematician info to save that, to say that, um, Matthew. Hmm. There's a lot of fortune tellers. Yeah, yeah okay. you don't I mean, have a pixie in this I mean, game. I'm the mathematician. I'm not surprised. I wouldn't be surprised if the rest of your fortune tellers, for all I know. But you don't want to nominate based on the ping you heard, Matthew? <sighs> the, no, what I mean is there's a double claim. That would mean there's a double claim because I only spoke to one person and I didn't speak to anybody else. Uh, I don't think we crossed paths. I'll do. I'll do that. I nominate Lewis. Matthew nominates Lewis. Matthew, your accusation. The thing is, look, I had a hard. He hard claimed to me, but he seemed very hesitant about doing it. And if there's two, if somebody's claiming that already, I'm kind of suspicious. Hey, Lewis, your defense. Okay, so I'll admit I lied to Matthew about the whole fortune teller thing, but that's not because I'm evil. I'll talk to you about it tomorrow, Matthew. I'm not the fortune teller. Mm -hmm. it, besides from not being the fortune teller, could you say something that would make us not vote on you? Mm. Well, it, talking about it would kind of give it the game away about what I'm trying to do here. I think. Okay. Okay. Um, with that, I will start the countdown on Lewis. It will start with Michael. <clears throat> Seven votes are needed to put somebody on the chopping block now since we have a tie with six. We do have a threshold of six, so it means to be seven. Oh. So everyone thought enough. it was an amazing defense. I'm not the fortune teller. <laughs> no, but we don't know enough yet. I was not a quick enough shot to put hand off. <laughs> All I know is if that was Simon, he would have gotten 80 votes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Some, there's something about Lewis not immediately running away to speak to his demon that makes me think he's good. And the... Uh, 
<laughs> and the face I picked was the demon I was when I was running towards Peter. Do we have, we have any other tonight. nominations? Do we have to kill tonight? No, we don't. We don't have a Vortex. We don't. We don't have a All right, well, I will start my 10 count then. And I hope that Michelle is not, but she only talked to Daryl, so I need to talk to her before she talks to anyone else. And she hasn't been going around town claiming to be the gambler. All right, here we go. All right, welcome back, everybody. In the night, you learned that Daryl has died. And I will give you guys seven minutes. All right, so in case it wasn't blindingly obvious yesterday, the Serenovus had made me mad about being a mathematician. This time, I'm mad about my actual role. So uh worked out quite nicely. Matthew, want to have Wait, a chat? You, you were yeah. the mathematician? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and... Uh, which, which room? Uh, to your room, Matthew. Uh, <laughs> okay. Lewis, you were exactly right yesterday. Good job. Mm. Okay. All right. Where did Ken go? Yeah, I'm, I'm here. Oh. Should we finish? We didn't even talk yesterday. <laughs> no, yeah. Yeah, we'll, we'll go, to, go to my room. Yeah. yeah. Daryl, we didn't finish up either. You want to Hello, Ken. The room, the room just closed nearly as we went into it yesterday. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, there we go. He wanted to talk. <laughs> yeah. As, as I was going to say to you, I trust you, so I'm going to tell you who I am. And I'm writing down, I am the actual fortune teller. Okay, I was thinking, okay, I, I, I was thinking you're the fortune teller or the snake charmer. <laughs> no, no, I am I am the real The real deal. Teller. Okay, because I think yeah. there were kind of like three different people that <laughs> were voting on or something. Yeah. There was. You're and, the only person I'm actually going to tell. Okay, and I will tell you that I'm the gambler, so I can gamble you tonight. Yeah. A gambler is one of was one of my bluffs as well as the dreamer, so that okay. just Okay. Okay. Well, I Michael talked to me first and he told me he was the godmother. And grandmother. He told yeah. me the grand the grandmother. Yeah. And he said his grand he didn't tell me who the grandchild was but told me his grandchild was the fortune teller which is me but okay he didn't but he didn't say but he didn't say it was you he didn't say it was me okay and that was the first thing he came out with that's but funny he I, didn't wanted you to claim yeah. it kind of no. but who yeah. did you choose i cho i chose him and brody on the first night and i got a yes okay but i chose him and michelle who was the other person who told me she was claiming she heard of fortune teller. Yes. She she claimed balloonist, uh, gambler, and uh, the cannibal. Okay. So. And, I don't, and so but did, I but got a, you got a I no. Got a no I got a no though on the shell and Michael, which okay. now has confused me. But then and, it points to Brody. Oh, he could yeah. be your red herring. Yeah, it could be. So I, I'm gonna probably go Brody, and mm. I'll random pick then the next person just yeah. to see. Yeah, you can also choose yourself if you want to, because then it's a definite. If I get a yes, then it's yeah, uh, because uh, uh, yeah, it have to be because you can cannot both be your red herring, or you can of course choose yeah. me. You can choose me and him, but you can choose yourself and him, then. Yeah, and if you want to gamble on me as the fortune teller, yeah. that's a way to declare me. Yes, exactly. Perfect. Perfect. Yes. Yep. Yep. Let's go. Cheers. And go demon. Yep. And then we are the only one back in town. <laughs> yeah. Everybody is talking. Evil, evil plans here. Evil. Uh, no, nothing about being evil here. Hello. Do you want to chat? <laughs> yeah, we can chat, Peter. I'll come to yours. Yeah. Hey, Peter. Hello. 
Have you hard claimed to anybody yet? Yeah, I have to grow. Ah. So what do you want to do? Do you want to sh just do a three for three or? I, I can. I actually I don't mind <laughs> because uh, I'm the gambler, so I kind of need rolls if I. You're the gambler, okay? Yeah, and I gambled grow last night. Okay. As the chef. Yes. As the chef. That's good. That's good. Um, okay. Uh, I'm the savant. Okay. You're the savant. I've got two days of info so far, but I'll, I won't, I'm going to keep it to myself until. And yes. uh, you're not the philosopher savant? Nope. No. I'm the savant. Why? <laughs> Why? Is that a double thing? <laughs> No, He's I just I just me. heard it in a free for free, but oh well, that that means nothing. Okay. I've never included my real role in a three for three. Okay. Okay. Uh, and you're not yeah. an outsider, no? No. Okay. I'm the savant. Okay, of course I, oh, yeah. I I haven't heard of any outsiders, but of course a lot of them they don't want to come out. But okay. Yeah, there's there's not a lot of uh, open outsiders in this script. But I'm sure. I'm going to gamble Ken tomorrow, and then I can gamble you after that. You're gonna gamble Ken. Yeah. Okay. Yes. All right. Cool. Thanks. Thanks. Peter, was that a truthful three for three? Sorry. Uh, in your three for three with me, was that truthful? I don't, I don't think I've ever given a truthful three for three, so it probably wasn't. All right. Cool. Ever in existence, but I have hard claimed my actual role to a few different people. All right. Want to have a chat in my room then? Um, sure. All right. Cool. And grow. I did as planned last night. Oh, and you're not dead. Nope. So I'm happy. <laughs> yeah, that's good. <laughs> So I have another one I'm going to gamble. That's great. Tonight. Yeah. Have you heard of any outsiders? Of course, they don't yeah. want to come out. Okay, you have heard of I've, I've heard of uh, one and a half. Okay. <laughs> okay. One and a half. Yeah. Michelle, it's do you want to talk? The breakout room's just closed, but oh, yes, tomorrow. T tomorrow then? Yeah, tomorrow would be great. Uh, Peter, if you think I'm evil because yesterday the Serenovs made ma mad about being the mathematician, clear that world. Okay. No, I just I have you right now. I have you penciled in my on my grim as the Serenovs. So just <laughs> just based on how the first two days went, I, I, I think you're definitely the Serenovs. So that's just that that's the world I'm living in. I want to pre-order some games with those. Ones. All right. Uh, nominations are open. Thank you so much. You know what? A lot, they do on a lot of streams, and I don't want to tell you how to play your games, Trey, but it keeps things moving along. Is do like they do like a couple minutes of open chat before nominations open, and then once nominations go, there's no pertinent info. It's just accusation, defense, vote. Like all the pertinent uh, info comes out. I like of. pertinent information to matter because oh, yeah. people don't gotcha. forget stuff. Or people with twelve players, people don't listen yeah, half the time. Cool. We did that with Sam the other day, and he wouldn't let us talk. And I was like, this is this is irritating. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I won't ask too, I won't ask my question too publicly. Michael, did you confirm your role with the other person today? Uh, no. No. I've heard of two outsiders, a recluse and a mutant potential. Obviously, mutant's not gonna gonna come out. And no, the mutant's not me. Aww. I have heard of a recluse as well. Yeah, uh, I've also heard recluse mutant. Yeah. I've also heard of claim of a chef somewhere. Um, chef zero as well is what I've heard through the grapevine. And I'm dead, so it's not me. <laughs> what were you, Daryl? Are you keeping that to yourself? 
Uh, I need to keep it quiet for a little bit. I'm just trying to work some stuff out. Stuff that's not adding up and I just can't trying to wrap my head around it. I know his role and yeah, mm. his info. Yeah, I, I was a knight role, so that's sort of like scuppered for now. I'm just going to piece it together. If he had you... picked him, you would have known that he was a knight role. <laughs> I am going to nominate Peter. All right, Brody nominates Peter. Brody, your accusation. Uh, because I think him and Michael are both lying. With Peter being the demon half of that. Okay, Peter, your defense. Uh, I am not lying. I don't know about Michael. I am lying. So my, Michael is lying, I am not lying. And we were checked by a seamstress and Michael and I are of different um, alignments. So if he's lying, then I'm good. Oh, in that case, we should definitely kill Pete to that. Especially okay. with the no seamstress on this trip. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was just about. <laughs> that was mathematician info though, about the seamstress. <laughs> All right, folks, I will start the countdown on Peter, and it will, uh, it will, the countdown is on Peter, it will start with Brody. Here we go. All right, six votes is enough. Peter is on the chopping block. I nominate Brody. Uh, shocking. All right, here we go. Okay. Peter, your accusation. Uh, it's not just pure revenge because he nominated me, um, although I do think we are on separate teams. I think based on yesterday and today, it's a very Brody big brain play. Um, I think he is uh, certainly a very high Saranovas candidate. Um, and I don't mean the target of the Saranovas, I mean that he is the Saranovas. Uh, that's the world that I'm in, and uh, Brody's a much better kill than me. Hey, Brody, your defense. Peter, my info could be wrong, but you need to pick a better. You need to pick a better target. Can't be me all the time. I... <laughs> he says, Brody says, as he nominates me for the eleventh game in a row, and on both days so far, by the way, today and yesterday. And and I have heard of a ping on you, Brody, a fortune teller ping. Okay. Anyone want to add any extra to this? Yeah, let's not tie it again. Yeah, let's not tie it. Yeah, no, not okay, tie I will start the countdown on Brody, and we'll start with Lewis. But I think there was a fortune teller ping on you, Brody. Devin would be good. Good people should vote here. They shouldn't. Okay, five votes is not enough. Peter's still on chopping block. I'd like to nominate Lewis. Okay, Michael nominates Lewis. Michael, your accusation. Uh, I thought his defense yesterday was a bit weak, and then I'm not entirely convinced by his uh, by his hard claim during whispers. Okay, Lewis, your defense. Okay, so I told two people. I think I told Peter and Michael this, but my act was that I was the Raven's Keeper faking fortune teller. Now the demon's not going to kill me now. You no, know, uh, that, that makes sense. I'm the fortune teller. You could have been my red herring, and that's pretty much exactly what I thought yesterday. So you're claiming to be the fortune teller, Brody? I am. Yesterday I was made, made mad about being the mathematician. Today I was made mad about being the fortune teller, which just so happens to be my actual role. I have heard another hard claim for fortune teller. I wouldn't worry about it. They're probably the mutant or maybe a philosopher, Raven's Keeper, cannibal. Who knows? <laughs> or Brody's the Saranovas. If they're a philosopher fortune teller, do you think you now have wrong info? 
Do you okay, wanna... so guys, we're getting off topic. We're talking about Lewis here. So I'm going to start the countdown on Lewis, and it will start with Michael. Here we go. All right, four votes is not enough. But I, I nominate will. Brody. I've already Brody been nominated. Has been nominated. Uh, Brody's already, already been nominated. Been nominated. nominated. So I'm going to start my 10 counts since we do have somebody on the chopping block. I don't think we should kill me, folks. I think we should try to stall to get someone else on the block. But someone's going to be have drunk some if outside I get executed. Does... Someone's going to get drunk if I get executed. I'm the sweetheart. I, I'm not a minute okay. And with that, nah, Peter it, yeah. has been <laughs> Peter has been executed and dies. And everybody, head to your breakout rooms, please. Okay. Was I executed because the day ended? Were you at zero? Yep. The day is over. Thank you. <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> you don't have a Scarlet Woman? Okay, I am literally confused now. I actually thought that Peter was the demon. But who is then the demon? <laughs> I didn't got to talk to Del. I definitely have to talk to Michelle tomorrow. I, I don't know if he had been snake charmed. I don't know who the demon is at the moment. I literally don't know who the demon is. I, I have to kill Gro then. I have to kill Gro. Because I cannot pick my own demon. If I get to, if Peter really was the sweetheart, as he said, then I need to kill Gro. Also, he would not make Grove Savant drunk. And I do not want to kill any one of the outsiders. But at the moment, I don't know if Daryl has been snake charmed. Or... He hit a fengu. Or, or he hit a... Uh, <laughs> or he hit an outsider. <laughs> I absolutely don't know who my demon is right now. I thought it was Peter, and I was close to coming out to him, but I didn't. <laughs> uh, I have two people claiming to be the fortune teller. <clears throat> I'm evil, and I'm confused. <laughs> oh, I really hope Trey, he comes to visit me. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Oh, I hope the demon doesn't kill me. <laughs> that could also happen. <laughs> oh my, oh my, oh my. Okay, so I gambled, grow as the chef. And what am I going to gamble now? <laughs> um, who did he jump to? Okay, Trey. Hello. I'm pretty confused. I don't know who my demon is at the moment. I thought it was Peter. Because <laughs> I talked to Daryl uh. about maybe he could pick Peter at night. And then when he died, I thought, oh, maybe Peter. <laughs> But not. Okay. Uh, did you talk to, to your new demon? No. Oh, no I, don't, okay. I, I don't know who, this is, who it is, so therefore I'm going to pick Gro, because I know she's you're, the chef. You're she's the chef. Gro. Yeah, she's the chef, and you would not make her sweetheart drunk, and she's not my demon. And if she is, then. I it, see. You don't know who the demon is. I get you. I'm like, why are you killing the chef? It because does, I don't okay. know who my demon is. Gotcha, I understand. <laughs> Who have you talked to? 
Øh, Peter Ken? Yesterday I talked to Peter and Ken, and I have talked to Gro, and I have talked to Daryl the first day. So I, I was going to talk to Michelle, but the breakout rooms were closed at that point. Gotcha. Okay, okay. Cool, so, cool. So you're killing Gro. Yeah, and tomorrow I'm talking to Michelle okay. as the first one. <laughs> so okay, all right, can... perfect. <laughs> yeah. All right, thank you very much. Thank you. Okay, but then we can speed up the game a little bit, and I can also kill. And I don't think my demon is going to kill the chef. So therefore, I might as well do it. Auto because I have no idea who the demon is. <laughs> and I actually don't want to kill an outsider because I would like to get the extra kill. All right, now we're all back. All right, welcome everybody. And in a strange turn of events, we had two deaths. We had Brody and Grow. I will open breakout rooms and give you guys six minutes. I'm not so mad this time. The, I was the dreamer. The, so the demon changed. It's either that Godfather. or a Godfather. Godfather. All right. Could, could be an incorrect gamble if I have a gambler out there. No, uh, but that was. Like, I'm not the gambler. Brody's not the gambler. gambler. Yeah. So I was the. I heard of I, I was the dreamer. On the first night, I checked Peter, and I got Mutant Imp. Second night, I checked Mia, Recluse, Serenovus. And I was mad about being the mathematician. I can I can clear up Peter. And then um, I was made Peter's, mad about being the fortune teller. Peter's yeah. definitely the mutant, because I was the imp. So, have fun with that. I... You were the imp. You star passed on the first night? Yep. And that makes sense because you star passed to your Serenovus, and I'm not mad right now. No, he didn't star pass to his Serenovus because he, ki he died the first night. And you right. were. I did not think that through. Um. Eric, can I talk to you? Hella, wanna talk? Yeah, Me, sorry. we can, can talk. Uh, okay, so... Ken, can we talk? Yeah, my... Uh, which Megan, room? do I have uh, check? Uh, my room? I'll go to your room. Yeah. Uh, come to my uh, room. Or, uh, or in your room. Yeah, that's my room. Hello, Luis. Hey. So, are you informed? <laughs> no. <laughs> I... Look, I know you're the godfather. <laughs> I was like, okay, I, I have to kill someone, and I don't know who my demon is. I'm going to kill the chef Gro, because I'm for sure. Wait, gro Gro's the chef? Yeah. Okay. Is Michelle claiming and... gambler? I can't remember the blast that Daryl said, but I'm not responsible for those. I'm going Raven's Keeper. Okay, perfect, because I'm going gambler, and I need to talk to Michelle, so she's not going with uh, with, with that one. So you're okay, claiming so... Raven Keeper. So I can gamble you as the Raven Keeper. Okay, so me as the recluse. Wait. Yeah, I, I, if I, you were, I yeah. If you were if you were reading if you were running a script, would you would you replace the recluse with another good character? Because the recluse can register as evil, but I don't know. Yeah. But uh yeah, I I, I kind of thought she was the recluse. Okay, but I yeah. have to see if I can catch uh, you know, um yeah, like that whole imp play was kind of genius because it directs everyone away from a Fangu possibility. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. But I think I'll I need to see then. if I can catch Michelle. Um, okay. So see I ya. can talk to Bye. her. See you. Bye. Bye. Mia, do you want to talk? Oh, sure. Hello. We haven't talked. Uh, come to my room. Yes. Okay. This Hello. is pretty confusing, I think. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. But I'm pretty well, sure you're not the Seven Novus, even though he said he saw you as the Seven Novus, because... I'm the Recluse. The Recluse, okay. And he saw me as either the Recluse or the Seven Novus. Funny, he saw you as the Recluse then. No, he's the Dreamer, so he will see my actual role or an evil role. He will see a good and a bad role. Yeah, but as the Recluse, you can still register as any role. Yeah, yeah, but as the Dreamer... You know, I can register as the recluse or as any evil role. Ah, that is true. 
That is so you can't give two evil rolls, of course. <laughs> no. <laughs> That would be kind of odd. Yeah. You're either the Fengu or the Imp. <laughs> <laughs> Me? <laughs> no. <laughs> you? Okay, yes. The, if you got that, okay, you could also... Yeah, the Fengu or the Imp. Yeah. Did you hear what Daryl said? So That he was told so odd everyone. that he was the Imp that stuck past. What well, I his... could I could have done that as well if I was the um, imp. Um, could he have star pass to the recruit? But... <laughs> no, but it does not make sense with Brody's story because Brody could not have been made mad two nights in a row by a Serenovus, and now we had a Godfather kill last night no. because he would have either star pass to the Godfather or the Serenovus. Yeah. Yeah, that is. I, I I think it's odd. And also, Peter and Brody Unless... went on each other, and then Brody died, and Gro died. So if he's that past, we made another team. But we, but then we would have a pit hack, right? Yeah. And we haven't heard of anyone else that have been pit hacked. No. This is pretty odd. Okay. But I don't know what is going on. I'm the recluse, but I think we should start going after potential evil players. Yeah. And uh, I shouldn't gamble you then. Because Why? you can register as something else if I gamble you as the recluse, right? I don't know. Because if I yeah. gamble you as the recluse, then you could register as a minion or a demon. I actually don't know about that, if that applies to the gambler. Huh. I don't know, you can ask Trey. Yeah, but I think so. I, I think you can register something else. Like the Undertaker. Yeah. Undertaker can also see the recluse as anything, right? Yes, you can always so, gamble Lewis as the Raven Keeper. Yeah. Ken told me he was either the Snake Charmer, the Fortune Teller, or the Dreamer. Yeah, I know who he is. He can't claim to me. Is he the snake charmer? Because he told me he cleared Michelle. No, he's not the snake charmer. I don't think so. so he... I, I, otherwise, he's lying to me. <laughs> but but I don't think so because I gambled him yesterday. Unless I was drunk, then it would make sense or, with the outside account I got. Or I could be a lunatic that thinks they were an imp. Mm. Yeah, that could be the case as well. But then my then then my it doesn't work again. Then okay, then the outside account doesn't work. Uh, I can. I think it does. No, what All else? Right, everybody, nominations are open. So I saw Peter as either the mutant or the imp. So that's why, like, that's why I nominated and executed him. I think we're deal. We are dealing with an imp. But he said he was the sweetheart, didn't he? Oh, that's thing. I saw him as the mutant. Oh, Peter, sorry. Who was that? Sorry. I but I'm not... I'm not and entirely again? sure what? I do believe what Brody is telling. Megan nominates Mia. Okay, you Megan can't nominates hear you, Megan, Mia. Or at least I can't. All right. Megan, your accusation. Um, hopefully you can hear me. I'll turn up my volume. Um, I've talked to numerous people who think Mia is the Serenovus. Um, so that's what I'm going off of. I don't have a lot of information um, other than what other people have said. So I, yeah, I nominate Mia. Hey, Mia, your defense. Um, I'm not the Serenovus, I am the Recluse. Um, you can kill me, it's fine, but I would rather kill the one potentially evil. Yeah. Okay. Would anybody like to add any further information? And an info, I, I've, heard, um, I've heard information that Mia's character has is either the Serenovus or the Big Amortis. If we think it's an well, imp game, I think Mia's definitely the Serenovus. But I'm not. I was seen by the Dreamer as either the Serenovus or the Recluse. That is true. 
I will say I have three names so far, and Mia is one of them. Then so kill Mia, it's fine. I, a pertinent info. If my chef number is has have to work in whatever way, and Daryl actually was the imp, Mia has to be good. And Otherwise, yeah, my chef zero doesn't work. But an info grows are evil. <laughs> yeah, you always say <laughs> that. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm starting the countdown on Mia. It's going to start with Michelle. Here we go. <laughs> and I will say that Hela hasn't been Serenobis, yeah, so Mia isn't so Serenobis. So that is, that is why I, I'm not voting for her, because she hasn't Serenobis me. She normally yeah. always do. I would do. rather kill someone who's potentially evil, and with all these votes, I'm definitely not evil. Oh, Mia's definitely important. the recluse, because she's the one that gave me the right. Chef Zero claim on the first day. So. But if she's out it, and it's... Not an imp, it's probably. All right, so six a... votes is enough. Mia's on the chopping block with six. Well done, Team Evil. Keep it going. Keep it going. I think there's a stronger <laughs> case. Hey, for... Matthew and Michael, there's the way this works, by the way. If she, if Mia is the recluse, just so you know, I think Mia could definitely be the recluse here. I am. I think we should nominate someone else. Who should I nominate? Can still become the I director. think probably Hella. I nominate Hella. Me? Michael Hella nominates Hella. Me? The only one that did vote for her. <laughs> Michael, your accusation. Uh, this is just going off a hunch here, but if Gro is not the chef, she might be uh, trying to cover up for the fact that she and Hella are both evil. And uh, Peter said someone should nominate Hella. So. Yeah. But I love how all your worlds always start or ends with me being evil. <laughs> and apparently also me. Okay. But uh, I'm all right, not, Hella, I'm you're not gonna push yeah, this yeah, so yeah. hard this, because this, I'm, this this is my defense. And I am a townsfolk and I have hard claim and I have clarified Grow and I have actually also clarified Ken by this point. So uh, I'm still good. And I might die at some point. And um, if you have information, oh, well, a good uh, oh, information. Well, Peter, a... can you do me a favor? Can you lean to your left for a moment? Okay, can I good. do what? Okay, good. There, that, there's a dot right next to your head that keeps looking like a fingerprint on my screen. And I'm like, <laughs> it is bugging the shit out of me. <laughs> and it's just part of your background. All right, anyways. Uh, I thought it was just part else? of my face. Yeah, no, I, I, I said the per... thing right I next have some to information. you. All right, go ahead. I have information that my minions have an E in their screen name. Just letting you know that's, that should narrow it down completely and you guys will win. Have fun. <laughs> Everybody has an E. This is the most fun I've had. Except for the dead chaos. <laughs> well, I don't really have so much chaos. Okay, I... anyways, I'm going to start the countdown on uh, Hello, it'll start with Crow. You need six to tie, seven to put on block. Michael, are you doing this again, Hello's Michael? Good. Hella's, Hella's I'm, I'm not. I'm not pushing massively on this, but all right. One vote is not enough. I'm gonna nominate Michael. Okay, Mia nominates Michael. Mia, your accusation. Well, well, I am just a recluse. I am not the first kill, but I'd rather kill someone potentially evil. Um. And I have a god feeling that and Michael might be one of them. Did Someone just, just Brody, okay. Brody said his laptop died and he'll be back in a second. <laughs> okay. So you want uh, my defense, don't you? We can we can pause. He he did say that he'll be right back. Can we move? I, I do have a feeling he's not gonna use his dead vote on Michael. That's true. Wow. Go ahead, Michael. Okay, um, you can you can absolutely kill me. I have no problem with that whatsoever. You want to claim then, role? Michael, were you what you claimed to be? Uh, yes. Okay. Then what are you? I'm not saying. I've hard claimed to a lot of people around the uh, around the grim. Okay, Someone else's role say? has confirmed what Michael Hart claimed to. But why wouldn't you tell if you don't mind dying? Um, not okay. saying anymore. Uh, my guess is it's the mutant or something. 
I think Peter was the mutant. Yeah, Peter was the mutant. Oh. All right, folks. I'm going to start the countdown. Michael, you Michael. want to die, yeah? It is six votes to tie, seven votes to take me off the chopping block. If you think Mia is the recluse, I would vote for me here. Just we're never getting seven with evil voting. No. Well, it's fine. You can kill me, but I'd rather kill someone evil. All right. Well, since four is not enough, I'm going to start my ten count. Me is on the chopping yeah, block. There's only eight alive, and we need seven votes. Daryl's just relishing this. I really, yeah. really am. <laughs> I mean, the <laughs> so uh, horrible. I mean, I mean, as Ben once said, the outer devil is the most fun role you can have. All right. Really so nice. with that, Mia has died, and the game continues. <laughs> Are you <laughs> This is so weird. <laughs> this is really odd. The heck is going on? Okay, so I think I'm going to take Louis as the Raven Keeper. Or maybe I'm going to gamble myself. Hello, hello, you get another kill. Yeah, and uh, a bit torn, but I think I'm going to take Kent the Fortune Teller. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Uh, I was lying. I was Snake Charmed, or mm -hmm. I was uh, Sarah Novus last round. I, I, yeah, I knew that. <laughs> okay. All right, everybody. Um, welcome back uh, from the night. And in the night, you learned that there was another kind of a bloodbath, and you learned that Ken died, and you learned that Michael died. And I'm going to open breakout rooms and give you guys five minutes. <clears throat> Michael, was that because of the Godfather or something else? I think it was because of the Godfather. Um, I was an outsider. Yeah. And I got killed yesterday. I don't think it was a. I don't think it was a Godfather. I think it was because I was drunk. What? Uh, no, no, it can't be that. Hang on, but let me. Uh, this doesn't make sense. Uh, Mike, was Ken your grandchild? No, he wasn't. Good, Matthew, that was what I was after. Matthew, can we talk? Yeah. I'll come to yours. Um, yeah. Who is Michelle, can we chat? Room? Michael? Um, yes, whoever's asking me go to my room. Yeah, OK, that's me. Okay. Is Lewis in the chat, or is he talking to someone? Uh, oh, you're talking to me, Megan? Yes, can you come to my room? Or no, yeah. I'll go to yours. Let's yeah, OK, yours. yeah. Yeah, let's go. Hello, can we chat? Yeah, we can, because I'm pretty confused. Go to your room. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know what the hell is going on anymore. Me neither. Why yeah. two deaths two times? <laughs> Godfather explains it. Michael was, the, Michael was the grandmother, so but Ken wasn't his grandchild. I don't know. Uh, did he? What are you about? What? Did he claim grandmother? I'm the gambler. Earlier. I'm the gambler. Oh, you're a gambler. Okay. Yeah. So first night I gambled Gro as the chef. And then I gambled the uh, as the second night, and the third night I gambled Ken as the fortune teller. Okay, cool. And this night I gambled myself because I wasn't sure who to gamble, because I could gamble me as the recluse, but she could register something else, right? I mean, that's part of your gambling me as a recluse. That's part of that's part of your ability, not hers. Yeah, I know. No, okay, so, that's true. But like with the Undertaker, then they can show the Undertaker another role, right? Right. So I didn't dare to gamble her, so I gambled myself last night. Uh, what, do you know what Michelle is? No, I haven't talked to Michelle. <laughs> I have tried right. <laughs> at some point, but uh, we haven't managed to talk. So I haven't talked to Michelle, and I haven't talked to Matthew, and I haven't talked to Megan. Okay. Last last yesterday I talked to Lewis, um, but I have talked to a lot of dead players, apparently. Yep. Alright. And and but was Peter then the mutant? 
He would have had. He would have had to been. Because he claimed he was his sweetheart. Yes. So maybe that was just an attempt to break madness at the end. Oh, like, because if he claimed sweetheart and then got executed on those grounds, but I don't. I don't know if Trey would would have done that. No, he was already being executed. And, yeah, and I dreamt him as the mutant or the imp. So yeah, yeah. So most likely. Like, what, what, like what choice? What choice is there? Yeah, but if we have the recluse and we have Peter as the sweetheart, that is two outsiders, right? Yeah, that that would be our two, and Daryl Starpass. I don't know if Daryl's. I don't know what's up with Daryl. Luta, what was it say? She said the the lunatic or the imp. <laughs> okay, I don't understand. Who who do we think <sighs> is the demon? <laughs> I, I really don't know. Okay, maybe I should talk to also Megan or Matthew or Michelle and figure out what they are. Okay, cool. Yeah, yep. I could gamble one of them. Brody, can we talk quickly? Michelle, let's go to your room. Okay. Michelle, can we talk? Yes, hello, we can. I would also like to talk to Megan afterwards if there's time. Okay, my room. Okay. Yeah. Uh, uh, Michael, wanna talk? Um. Finally, we okay. get to talk! <laughs> <laughs> and we are the same team. Sorry. Yeah, well, and unfortunately, I'm I'm dealing with claims adjusters too that are calling, and of course, you know, it's just now getting to be five o'clock here, so everyone like rushing to get calls. But yeah, I I hit a deer last night, and my car is like, <sighs> but I'm okay, so that's yeah. good. So anyway, I know you're the Godfather. Um, which yeah. death are you responsible for so far? Uh, Ken, the fortune teller, and then I the killed Gro because I didn't know uh, the chef Gro because I didn't know who our demon was. <laughs> Okay. All right. Yeah, and I've been I've been causing this. I'm the Sarah Novice. Uh, I think you're exactly right, Matthew. Haley, did you want to chat to me? Yeah, but they closed the breakout rooms. Oh, uh, okay. All right, everybody, welcome back. Um, nominations are open. Okay, so I'll nominate Ella. Okay, Lewis, nominate Ella. Lewis, your accusation. I'll refer to Michael on this one. <laughs> Is this because we couldn't get our chat in? <laughs> yeah. Okay, um, I was the grandmother. Uh, Ken was not my grandchild, which means that he was killed by a uh, godfather kill. Well, one of you were. With, yeah, well, it was... Uh, one of us was killed by a godfather claim. If that's the case, based on my information, the only way that can be the case is if the Vigor Mortis has been killing off their demons on night one and night two. Which would point the finger at Daryl, and it would point the finger at either Gro or Brody. There's too many outsiders, Mike. Uh, I've heard of a balloonist that would add an outsider in as well. Well, the balloonist was claimed by the guy who also claims to be the demon. No, I've heard another balloonist. Yeah. But I will yeah, say, I I've heard something weird. Before Ella should get her defense first. Yes. Yes, and uh, I'm definitely not the demon if that is what you are in insuciating. Oh, that, ah, that word. Insinuating? Yeah, that word. <laughs> uh, and uh, I'm a townsfolk, think. and I think most people, uh, the best of the people that I have talked to, they know that I am the gambler. And. Uh, I've, so far, I have gambled Gro as the chef, I gambled Ken as the fortune teller. He uh, hard claimed to me the first day when we talked together. And uh, last night, I, I gambled myself. Yep. So, you gambled what? Myself last night. Turning in to, to, to that, I've heard four names from a, from, a, from a balloonist. Three of them are now dead, and Ella is the other one. <laughs> I think Hella is evil. I don't think she's the demon. I think she's the godfather think... responsible for these two kills. I completely nope. agree with that, actually. No, I think I think the godfather is Daryl. I think he's dead, and I think the Serenovus was probably Gro, who's lying about a chef one. I'm I think not, it's the I'm complete the opposite, Mike. You are absolutely wrong, Mike. It could easily be Megan or, or Lewis or Brody. Um, so. Yeah, the per pertinent info, Michael, it, the info does line up with her being Godfather. Okay, I'm going to start the countdown on Hella 
It will start with grow. You need three to put on the chopping block. Here we go. We should definitely get three, but we should try to also on, kill minions. the demon. Come on, minions. Give me the hell up. Come on. Narrow it down. Go on. There you go. There you go. I guess. There's your three. Oh, four. Nice. Thank you. Uh, all right. Four I votes will... is enough to put hell on the chopping block. I am Interesting that I, the I, balloonist I, is not I, voting I, on that. I'm, I think yeah. Daryl's actually the lunatic because I'm... I was Serenovus. If he was the lunatic who sought him, I was Serenovus. <laughs> I was Serenovus. And I'm definitely not the demon. I'm going to nominate Louis because no, I'm not the demon. I'm, 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 can I just? <sighs> okay, Hella nominates Louis. Hella, your accusation. I mean, he might as well be evil. Um. I kind of heard what he's claiming. That can be an easy bluff for an evil player. And I'm not evil, so I'm going to nominate Lewis and we can hear his defense. All right, Lewis, your defense. Look, I'm not sure if Eller is one for revenge, but I've told everyone already. I fate fortune teller to trick the demon into killing me, but I'm the Raven's Keeper and they're not going to kill me now, so. And I don't think we need to kill any good players this late in the game. I, know. I think you should tie it. I think you should tie it. <laughs> yeah, <you're> good, <laughs> I, I will say that that I was sitting with Mia and Ken in the in, yeah in here, uh, and Ken claimed Snake Charmer and told me he got two names every night and got a yes or a no. Did not. That's not true. That's not, I only claim one day. So Snake Charmer works. Yeah. And then you yeah, went to talk to Daryl afterwards. Yeah, because yeah, I haven't talked to Daryl on now. That's true. First yeah. time I've ever played with Daryl. Yeah. I said only Snake. yesterday in, in like the main chat. Nobody liked to talk to me, which is weird. Could have given yeah. you all the information, but. All right, folks, I'm going to start the countdown on Lewis because that clearly this has nothing relevant to Lewis's nomination. We're going to start the countdown on Lewis. It'll start with Michael. Here we go. Um, Trey, just a quick thing. I used my dead vote. Did you? Okay. Thank you. Did you use it on me, Michael? I did. You naughty boy. <laughs> If, if, you're, if you're not the demon, Heller, I apologize, but everything I've got points at you. I am not the demon. All right. Oops. Wait. No, uh, evil. So one vote is not enough. Hella is still on the chopping block with four votes. Uh, at this point in time, um... I think you should nominate someone else. We're not beating four. You nominated Hella. Lewis did. All right, this Megan, is... Matthew, Michelle, no, would either of you guys like to nominate? No, we're not nom beating four on this. This is bad, yeah, guys. We'll work together oh, as a Megan, team. Megan, what, what Megan, if, what if, Michelle, what if there's... Would either of you guys like to nominate? No. What I'm if debating there's... about Megan, but I don't think we'll get more than four. I okay, don't... well, kids, if you say no, I'm going to end the day. If you say yes, I'm going to do the nomination. I don't think Hell is... Hell is dead. I don't think Hell is evil, so nope. I'm... I'm the fortune teller. Yeah. Hell is the godfather. All right, and with that, Ken has been executed and dies, his dead corpse, and we're going to the breakout rooms. Okay, yeah. Trey just saved the evil team there. <laughs> Boo, Boo hiss. I didn't oh. save anybody. Boo hiss. You break madness, you die. Boo hiss. <laughs> 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 That was pretty fun. So I, I got saved by Ken that has been made mad. <laughs> Sorry, Ken, if you're watching this afterwards. Sorry. I am actually evil. And Devil is having his time as his life <laughs> with being a kind of out of evil or a lunatic. This is... This is a fun game. Oh my. If Louis kills an outsider, then I will get a second kill and I can then kill Matthew. Ooh, wait a minute. I think. Oh. Ooh. If who. 
of Megan and Matthew is the outsider. One of them is an outsider, I think. Because I kind of think that Michelle said Megan was suspicious. And if she said that, then Louis should kill Matthew. If either Megan or Matthew is an outsider and Louis kills the outsider. This is fun. Even though they don't think I'm the demon, they think I'm the god's mother. And indeed I am. <laughs> Haven't had this much fun as a godfather before. Not that I've been the godfather that many times, but it's pretty fun. And I saved your ass there. <laughs> All right, everybody, I'm going to give you four minutes. Oh, by the way, uh, Megan's dead. Okay. Uh, can we? Can we? If everyone wants to stay here before we break off. Yeah. Um, yeah. Fantastic. We have final four, but I don't think we can go to bed because I think we have three alive evils. Um, here's the world that that I see. Um, I think the evil team to begin the game was Daryl, Michelle, and Hella. Uh, Michelle being the Serenovus. Uh, Daryl claims he was the imp, uh, but I believe he was a fangu because we have a number of outsiders. I think he jumped on the first night uh, to someone who was probably the drunk. Um, anyway, Matthew's uh, the key to this whole game. Um, he's been confirming people's roles with his ability. Um, Hella is lying about what she is because Matthew's info cannot be true if Hella is the gambler. Um, and Lewis, poor Lewis, uh, who I believe started the game probably as the drunk or one of the outsiders and is now the Fangu um, because he cannot be the Raven Keeper based on uh, some mechanical information. So I think uh, the Daryl jumped to Lewis on the first night uh, as the Fangu, and I think that's where the demon resides right now. Yep. Stop. Oh, I think, I think there's something with Lewis because when I went back to the village, when I went to the town yesterday and Gro caught my mistake of my snake charmer mistake, Lewis was there and Daryl was there and Lewis didn't say a thing. So he... Yeah, is it, is it a, Peter, should I fully share? I would share what, all the info? Share, yeah. I'll share okay. everything, Matthew, because I don't think we can make I'll fully share. I'll fully share. I'm the amnesiac, and I've had a bingo. My my ability is that I can check the they have the amount of vowels in a person's roll. With Brody Night One, I got a three, which confirms him as Dreamer. I got a three from Mike. Compare, confirming him as grandmother. I also I told you you were my grandchild. <laughs> yeah. And I checked Mia the next night and got a four, but based based around that, I, I with the rec whole recluse thing, I do believe she registered as evil, so that could, that's how it could explain yeah. that. With Hella, I got a three, which uh, registered... Father has three. Gambler has two, yeah. Gambler has two, and I checked Lewis last night and got a two. Guess what has two? Fangu. Ah, very interesting. Ravenkeeper has five, by the way. It has four E's, even. <laughs> Less fast, he's drunk. As Dean said, false information the entire time. He must have. I would like to that I was, since I'm dead, um, I was the philosopher. I used my ability night two, and I became the cannibal. 
And I think everyone I've killed have, or has done nothing uh, to me the whole game. And the only person I hard claimed to was Michelle. And the very next night I was Sarah Novist. So I think Michelle is the Sarah Novist, knowing that I would get good information. And I had to tell Brody that I was the snake charmer. Um, so take that as you will. Yep. And that so by the way, everybody, uh, the breakout rooms have closed and nominations are open. So we need to kill Lewis and we need to get more, at least five votes because there are four evils who can vote. I remember that. Cool, let's do it. No tea. Okay. I nominate Lewis. All right, Matthew nominates Lewis. Well, I Matthew. use my dead vote. I'll say. What? Say that again. Oh, sorry. I was just saying, well, I nominate, use my dead vote. Or... Did you use your dead vote? No, no. I'm asking the town. Oh, you're asking. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm like, what? All right, yeah, all right. we need to load up on Lewis. Lewis is the fan yes. <clears throat> all right. Um, so, uh, Matthew, did you give an accusation? Yeah, all because of the all of the aforementioned info. Okay, uh, Lewis, your defense. Um, I don't think it's gonna matter now. There's six against me, and I'm not sure. I'm not sure if I can convince people that I'm the Ravens keeper. Maybe Matthew was poisoned by a bigger mortis. Last night. Maybe he was. <laughs> or maybe he was poisoned by a sweetheart because I'm the gambler. So. Well, Matthew's been concerned. With... Uh, 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 hello. Peter was not the sweetheart. He was the mutant. I'm going to maybe start I the vote him. on Lewis. And it's going to start with Michael. Here we go. Wow, that's a lot of dead folk being wasted. I'm very happy about this. You should vote, Daryl. Nah. I'm not going to vote after all. I've enjoyed this too much. <laughs> you played very well. Thank you. Except everything okay, very confusing. I have the bigger mortis that has been poisoning Matthew. All right, so hold on. Uh, let's see. We've got six votes is enough. Let's see. We've got dead votes being used by Ken, Brody, Peter, Gro, and Megan. All right. All right. Uh, do we have any other nominations? No, well, I'm happy with this. I, I'm happy with my my minion dying off. Instead. I think there's only six votes left. I, I I think at this stage, yeah, I think yeah, Michelle, it's fair that you know they kill Lewis, we win. That's all fine, you know. It's okay. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm happy to let my I think... minion die. Well, okay, I mean, there are so many time. people talking at one time, guys. Sorry. Sorry. We People talk over each other. It's not helpful for anybody. So what, who is saying something? Oh, um, my former minion and I are just confirming that we're okay for my next minion to die. For your next minion to die? Yeah. All right, well, so I will tell you guys this, and this is particularly just for the fact of the role and several players today having very good juggernaut games but i am not going to take away victory just like i would not take away poisoning away from the poisoner and with that michelle has been executed and dies what? and the day is over and the oh breakout my. rooms are open oh. and the game is over oh congratulations my. oh to my evil team yes. oh my god get in god. for their victory <laughs> oh my god <laughs> Peter, you got it bang on the money. Yeah, you were Michelle had Peter. Sarah Novist herself last night. And <laughs> I'm not going to take away that from the Sarah Novist herself. Okay, so I will say this. Lewis, probably one of the best MVP games I've ever seen as an amnesiac. Dude, that first question, I don't know where you pulled that out of your butt, but that was an amazing <laughs> question. I'll go over that in just a moment. And Daryl, I had to give you also part of that victory because, dude, you were... <laughs> You oh, told shit. me that you were very, very nervous, <laughs> and yet uh, you were having a whole lot of fun with it. But at the very end, when the Saranovas, Saranovas is themselves for that, I can't, I can't take it away. Just like I can't take away a poisoning away from a poisoner. It's, it's just one of those situations where um, I, it literally was a coin flip. You guys can call uh, it a draw if you uh, want, but it was literally coming down to if I don't kill Michelle because of her freaking ability. 
then good wins. But if I kill yeah. Michelle, then evil wins. So you guys can tra- call it a yeah, draw, like, but like. I'm going to give it to Michelle because it's literally her ability and she did it well there at the end. Also, by the way, Peter, I killed Ken because he not only broke Mattis in the town, but he also broke Mattis in the in the rooms. So um, um, I was the when you sweetheart. Break madness, when you break madness, you, you're going to get killed. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, what what was Megan? What was Megan? Megan was cannibal. also here. I'll, I'll Wait, pull it. Up. Oh, no, cannibal. It up. Yeah, cannibal. Okay, okay. Yeah. I'm yeah. gonna mute you guys. Yeah, this is just everybody just talking over at once. You guys can't just like not talk sometimes. Um. All right. So here, I'm going to show you guys the grim. Here we go. So we will start with Michael. Michael was the grandmother who didn't talk to his grandchild till day three, which at to no point in time was suspicious at all. Um, but Michael saw Matthew as the amnesiac. We're going to come back to Matthew here in just a moment because he figured out his ability pretty much on day two without actually confirming it until day three to get the bingo. Um, Ken was your fortune teller who the first night picked Brody and Michael and got a yes because Brody was your red herring. Um, then he cleared Michelle and I can't remember who he picked as the other person, but he cleared two people. Michelle was one of them. And I want to say it was either Ken or Michael. Okay. Michael. Um, and he got a no. And then on the third night, he picked Brody and himself. And he got a yes. And then the next night, he died. <clears throat> so he got Brody. Oh, it was the night that Brody died. He got a yes because he picked Brody and himself and, and died. Um, which then he was uh, snake charmed, which I killed him because... And, and Jeremy and I specifically told him in the room, if you hint or suggest or say anything regarding fortune teller information or whatever, and when Girl came out and said that he said fortune teller information, I didn't hear it personally, so I couldn't necessarily retroactively kill him, but the moment he said I'm fortune teller, I, I was ready to pounce. Um, and so, yeah, he broke his madness for the day. Daryl was your original Fangu, who said he was very nervous at the beginning, and he picked Lewis, not, not knowing anything about Lewis, except for Lewis's defense during the day. And Lewis was the original sweetheart. So he jumped over to Lewis. So out of all the outsiders, good. That was actually the best jump because the sweetheart didn't die, thus not not um, drunking anybody for you guys. Mia was the recluse. Um, when the dreamer picked the recluse, I didn't think about, and, and Jeremy kind of mentioned this to me, that I could have actually had her register as any good role and then then had her register as the recluse power as an evil role being the real role um i went ahead and gave recluse saranovas because brody was thinking that she was the saranovas i also could have as a laugh given him two evils because the evil would be the wrong and then her and then her registering as the evil as the right role um and then really made him think that he was drunk or that i was really really screwing with him for something but I technically could have given him two evil roles and one of them being correct um, because she's the recluse. <clears throat> um, Michelle was the Sarah Novus. Um, we had fun on the first night. Then I looked and it wasn't that it, came, it, it anything clarified, but I also was thinking, well, if the philosopher, it doesn't clarify with the philosopher, the philosopher could pick any role of the game. So I kind of told her, I was like, you can make Brody mad about being something, but just pick something on the script. And so she did. So she changed her to the fortune teller, which Brody, you did such a good job selling the fortune teller that she thought you were actually the fortune teller and then decided to move on, which is why you were no longer being made mad, which she moved on to Megan, who she said that Megan was eating out of her palms. And so she made Megan mad about being snake charmer, which Megan did a beautiful job at pretending to be the snake charmer for a day. Um, um, so yeah, so that was Michelle. So on the, uh, and then as we've talked about with Ken, Ken was being made mad about being the snake charmer on the night that he died. And then Michelle basically snake uh, uh, made herself being mad about the balloonist on that last day in case Lewis got put on the block. <clears throat> um, and so, yeah, that was the journey of the Saranovas. Matthew was the amnesiac. Awesome, All right, Michelle. so Matthew picked a player on uh, the first night. He picked Brody. I gave him a three. He came to me the next day and said, does my ability, and I said, I said, Matthew, remember last time, I said, don't go specific. I said, go broad. It'll really help you out. And he goes, does my ability have anything to do with letters? And I was like, holy crap, that's specific, but you get a seven. And he's like, okay. And so the next night he picked um, Michael 
No. He picked, yes, he picked Michael, and I gave him a three. And so the next day he came to me and he goes, does my ability have anything to do with letters in that person's character name? And I gave him an eight. And so then the next night he picked Mia, who I gave him a four because I had to register as the Sarah Novus because that was going around. And he came to me that day and he said, does it have to do with the vowels in that character's name? And I gave him a bingo. It was the number of vowels in the character's name. Um, and so Matthew then the next night picked Hella the Godfather and got a three. And it wasn't until the last night that he picked Lewis, which he got a two, bing, bang, goo. Megan, you're cannibal, which ironically, if Michelle had made you mad about being an outsider, you pretty much would have just died because you had the ability of the mutant because Peter died that day. Nobody was killed on the first day. Then you philosophized into the cannibal and then Peter died, which means that you had the ability of the mutant. <clears throat> then when Mia died, you had the ability to register as anything which didn't really matter any, to anything, but you had the ability to register it as anything. And then when uh, Ken died, you were gonna have the ability of the fortune teller, but Lewis knew this. <clears throat> and so that's why you died last night, so that way you wouldn't be woken up and asked to pick two players. Because you would have had the ability of the fortune teller that night, which might've been another reason why Ken might've wanted to die, because he wanted to give his ability to the cannibal. I don't know. Um, but yes, um, Hella was your godfather on the first the day that peter died hella got to kill but she did not talk to daryl so she had no idea who her demon was so she decided to kill gro because gro was claiming to be the chef which will come to grow in just a moment but she, but gro is actually the drunk so you removed one of your kills there hella ah, shoot. <laughs> uh because you killed an outsider um, but the next day when you guys killed Mia, Gro decided, I mean, uh, Hella decided to kill Ken the fortune teller, which was a great kill. Um, moving on to Gro. Gro was the drunk. I made the chef the drunk for two reasons. Number one, there were a lot of outsiders in a Fangu game, and I figured, eh, that might not be, um, it might not be a kill the demon would make. But if the, the demon did make that kill, Gro might have like coasted to victory as the chef. Nobody would be killing the chef, especially after like the second or third day. Um, and, uh, but yeah, it was kind of like a balancing thing there. Plus, you know, who drunks the chef usually? Well, and another reason I drunk the chef was because the recluse was sitting next to two evils. And if the chef zero came out, Mia would think that her neighbors were good, which I, snuck into some of her rooms and that's exactly what she thought because there was no there was no one or two that the recluse could have caused because technically i technically in reality i could have made it zero a one or a two based on actually it would have been a zero or a two because if mia registers as evil then it would be a two if she registered as good it would be a zero so the drunk kind of i mean i guess i could have given a one but uh anyways yes grow was the drunk Peter was the mutant, um, and yeah, he decided to claim that he was the sweetheart on my two count, so I ended the day. That's why the nomination did not go through. And Peter, when you say, why, how did I die? I'm gonna say, because you were executed and the day ends. I'm not gonna tell everybody that you, because you're the mutant. Um, just like, uh, what's his name, uh, Edgar, claiming to be the saint on the two count, claiming to be the sweetheart on like the second, the seventh count. Then it might be a little bit more obvious. Um, and then Brody was your red herring, who was the dreamer who picked Peter on the first night, who got mutant or imp. My plan was to give you Brody. I was going to give you demons the whole time. So that way you couldn't be like, all right, well, at least I cleared all these people as not being the demon. But when you uh, picked Mia the next night and you were like, oh, I think she's the recluse, or I think she's the, um, the Sarah Novus who's making me mad. I was like, all right, you're going to get the Saranovas. <laughs> but I gave you Recluse and Saranovas. And Jeremy, uh, you, uh, we went to the next room or at the end of the night, Jeremy was like, couldn't you have given him any townsfolk? And I go, yeah, I guess technically that, because that would be the wrong. And then the right would be her registering as the demon. So I could have done that technically. Um, but yeah. And then Lewis was the Fangu, who was the sweetheart who turned into the Fangu. And so, yeah, so there was your game. To be honest with you, 
you guys could take this as a coin flip. I chose to kill the Serenovus because that was her ability. I wasn't going to take that away from her. But good, you played just as as right down the line as, as you could get. And you did have the demon on the chopping block there at the end. So uh, there is your game. That was that right there. Probably I haven't had to make a decision like that in the longest time to basically give a win to, to one side or the other. So, yes, Peter. Um, did we have four outsiders to start? Uh, that's yep. what I was wondering. Yep. Wait. Thank you, plus me. I think what was there originally a balloonist and you took the balloonist out? No, Godfather Maybe. adds one. Oh, Godfather adds yeah. one. Yes, <laughs> yes, I add one. Mm -hmm. Godfather adds one, and so does the Fangu. And I thought to myself, you know, four outsiders is kind of high in a Fangu game. So why don't I make the chef the, the, chef the drunk and see okay. how that goes? And, and there were lots of reasons to make the chef drunk because I was thinking, well, the demon's probably not going to kill the chef early, so it probably won't be Grow. But if it is, and at the time I didn't think it was going to be Grow, it was just the chef. But then I was also like, ooh, then the chef can get a zero and the recluse might clear their neighbors who are happen to be evil. So I could actually have killed our demon because Gro was the drunk if the demon had killed her. <laughs> yes, technically, yes, because the I didn't, drunk. I actually thought. I always like, I like going in Fangu games. I like going to unsuspecting outsiders. Like one time I remember going to Michelle, she was the mayor, but she was the drunk mayor. And I and I went to visit her, and I was like, "You're the fang you now." She goes, "Oh my gosh, I was the drunk." I was like, "Yeah." So <laughs> sometimes sure. I just enjoy. Peter, that. Peter, I fought I fought you with demon because I had talked to to Daryl, uh, he's uh, new, and I said, "Oh, maybe you can kill Peter. He's always so good when he's uh, good." And if you were an outsider, you did. and I fought I fought you with <laughs> it. I, I almost did. I was. I said to Trey on the first night. I said, "I'm yeah. hoping it's a Fangu game because I'd love to become the demon." But yeah, um, and, yeah, and when you said the good. savant, when you said the savant, that was one of the bluff rolls. And I thought, "Oh, have you talked to yeah. Daryl and taken the savant or something?" Yeah. On the I, second I, last day, did you and Lewis know <laughs> each other were evil? Yeah. 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 So when you were when you were on the block, you nominated Lewis, yeah. knowing you could never get enough votes. Yeah. Exactly. Nice. Uh, <laughs> I say uh, you killed me. So um, I'm, Peter, I'm just uh, annoyed. Peter. I sh I should have checked Lewis that night and not Hella. I'm just yep. annoyed. I think you played yep. straight. Yeah. Uh, so Peter. Uh, ah. So uh, I think they do be good the whole time. Did what? Like you can normally read me, but you did you have any idea until Matthew went? I checked Lewis and he was a two, which doesn't match Ravenkeeper at all. No, I told I told him to check you. Um, I suspected you from day three or so. When I talked to you early on, I read you as good, for yeah. sure. I don't know if you were the Fangu when you spoke to me. Oh, uh, um, when I claimed Ravenkeep. Um, okay, so Daryl killed me first, so I was the Fangu from day two onward. Yeah. So you the, then you you did very well because I read you as good um, yep. until the numbers started to. Yeah. Once Matthew's information <laughs> made it to me and we started sharing, um, yeah, you you became a prime candidate for a yeah, thing. It's weird, it's weird, Lewis, because even when you weren't the demon, your defense for not killing you wasn't that great. <laughs> <laughs> I, actually, yeah. I actually believe look, it. Look, look, had I, look, had I killed Matthew instead of Michael, the game would have been over with three evils remaining. Yeah. Oh, I, that was there were two blunders in the game. There was a blunder on the, the the I can tell you the blunder on the evil side and then the blunder on the good side. The blunder on the good side was Matthew not ever picking Lewis until the very end. And I was like, Matthew, stop! You need to pick the. And it's no throw, no fault of your own. You were just going blind. And the same thing with Lewis. However, Lewis killed Brody the first night he could kill. When when Peter, you were like you had a target on the back of Brody's head. And I'm like, why are you killing him? I was like, well, maybe it, maybe it'll make him look like an imp star pass thing or something like that. But I was like, Brody has a target on his back. Why are you killing somebody that the town is about ready to lynch? Well, the next night he kills Michael after the whole, guys, if me, if you want to save Mia, you guys can kill me. I'm fine dying. Just go ahead and kill me. I'm fine. I'm cool. And so he kills Michael. And I'm like, Lewis, why are you killing all these people? who? Like, Lewis, I told you I was the grandmother as well. <laughs> I was like, look, what? the thing is, the whole... Grandmother, grandchild swap. And when you said that to me, I was like, okay, all right, I can, I get you now. 
Yeah. But I just was like, like, why are you wanting to kill all these people that are like? I was like, okay. I, and I, I, okay. always, I was like, well, do you know what he is? The reason <laughs> I didn't, I didn't choose Lewis that night. That night, I chose Hella. It's because after speaking to Peter, who'd advised me to do Lewis, I'd spoken to Michael, and he advised me to do that. To go. Okay, I see where we stand, Matthew. Her. That's fine. I think I, I see you like you like Michael better than me. That's fine. Actually, Matthew, <laughs> what you need to do in the future is to do what you want to do. Yeah. Matthew, yeah. I think yeah. I actually it's just sometimes that. I don't trust myself with my own yeah. issues. Yeah. <laughs> hey, dude, like, hey, um, hey, what made you pick that question on the first day? What made you ask about letters? Mm, I've it was I was either going to do letters or placements. I was 50 50. OK, because that because I even told you, I was like, remember, go broad, go, go big and then squeeze it down. And you were like letters. And I'm like, do that specific. But OK, yeah, you should, yes. I mean, it's it funny like, because I, I just watched a Twitch stream um, that uh, Pandemonium Institute did, where the Amnesiac's power was uh, number of number of. It was very similar to that power. I think it was number of letters in the character's name instead of number of vowels. Gotcha. And I, I'm sorry, um, no, I um, the thing, because... the thing, the thing is, like, I only killed Brody because Daryl advised me to. So much yeah. advising going on in that game. I know, right? Yeah. You guys can make decisions for yourself. Hey, Peter, and the thing is, always kill, always kill Brody on the first day. And, yeah. and here's the I thing: I'd hard claim to Lewis day one. I was amnesiac, and then he didn't kill you. <laughs> or mention it to anybody on the no, team. because I he could have said it to me, and then I could have killed him. We could have uh, three kills. Uh, um, like. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm going to head on out. I'm going to go have dinner yeah. with my family. Yeah. So, but I will see you okay. guys. Listen, uh, I mean, for some reason, for some reason, 